Yona? Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Better, now that I'm taking the medicine you brought. Good. Um, by the way, are you gonna stay here today? You bet. Really? You'll stay with me? Really? <laughs> yeah, Yona. I'll stay. Yay! Now get back to bed. Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed verses. <clears throat> Morning. M Morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Cause I had a dream too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. But don't worry. I'm gonna study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime too. Sure, Yona. Hey, I was thinking about trying to make stew for you. Do we have any venison or wheat? S stew? I don't want her to feel bad, but her cooking is... Yeesh. All right, Yona. Let me see if I can track down your ingredients. Really? I'm sure you're gonna love it. Something troubling you, lad? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, I need to go ask Popola something. Ingredients for a home-cooked meal. Is there something you want to say? Oh, no. No, no, nothing at all. Do, 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 do. Look, I know Yona's not a four-star chef or anything, but she puts her heart into it. Only a real jerk wouldn't appreciate the effort. What kind of brother do you think I am? Did you hear me imply anything of the sort? I guess not. Just, well, good luck. Yeah. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing in hopes of bringing to your attention a certain dream issue of concerning regarding the recent events of the dream of the village. I was hoping I might be able to get your advice dream on the matter. Recently there have been dream reports. Dream, dream of a certain dream, 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 evil dream, 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 curse dream, 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 evil dream. 
Dream, 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 words, dream, dream, and dream, 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 someone dream, 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 dream. What the fuck? That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. Hmm. What a weird letter. All right, let's go. It's gotta be up close to the area, the area right? Sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way. I'm certain of it. You know, a little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Such cheek. Quizzical. What's going on? Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined the dream, the death dream, was spread from person to person by spoken words. But before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Kawai stared at the mayor, his mouth twitching slightly. Now see here, are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Azrael's suspicion, Weiss exploded with rage. Ridiculous! Preposterous! Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level! I don't even recall falling asleep! That's just how the death dream works. 
Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to brush aside the book's remarks. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. The mayor twisted his twisted his mouth into an embarrassing grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Azrael had seen and what they discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Azrael and Weiss racked their brains but couldn't find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider. Too many random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. The mere suggestion that Weiss chooses his words carefully seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. Well, excuse me, asshole. It has demolished it utterly. Italy, Weiss looked skyward as searching for an answer in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Yes, you were, asshole. Just leave me alone already. No. The anger created by his words harsh bled over Azrael like contagion. Wait, said Azrael suddenly. Did someone just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, that villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor learned forward with renewed interest, pushing a startled wife aside in the process. You must have said something right, asked the mayor. Something specific combination of words. What was it? It was about dreaming or something that dreams or oh, what the hell was it? A sheep? Cried Vez, suddenly burning out the first words that popped into his head. The others stared at him for a moment before slowly starting to shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of thought, Azrael's face suddenly lit up. I remember he said those who dream. That's what he said, I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor proceeded. A thick shelf of papers from his pocket, he flipped them a few times before finally nodding a a approval at Azrael. That sounds right, he said. As a straight sheet of paper fluttered onto the ground, my notes are also mentioned about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub tracing lines across a lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've, no I've done nothing but some disease we call the death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect people from whatever comes along, but I never expect a couple outsiders to start entering my people's dreams. The mayor paused and grimaced through the cross in his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Wise immediately fired back. I applaud the force of, you of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said, but perhaps we should bend your efforts in escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor hand tied it um, around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out, but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, i know about it. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes starting, staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said. No one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people you can ever hope to meet. But once it's these so cold, things change. Like, it's like it took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. It would, it just wanted us to be whole again. I just want us to be free. And I don't, I won't stop trying until it happens. Azrael nodded in agreement. Huh? Wait a second. Did I nod? Look, if we can be any help, said Azrael, just ask. Now hold on, I did not say that. Silent cries Wells. I'm Grimoire. Looked for Azrael to the mayor and back. His face is filling with confidence. Grimoire Weiss' face is always confident. Thank you very much. Now see here, mayor. You told us that nothing can exist in this dream without you knowing of it. But yet you seem surprised to see us when you first arrive, yes? The mayor slowly raised his head, realization drowning on his face. Oh god, he said you're right, you're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is limitless engine to that voice. And the dreams are of the fuel, and if if you can't imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know what I can repay you. Payment is not required. We are eager to help as how you'd be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two, he said. Uh, at the departing forms of Azra and Weiss, we're all counting on you. As Ezra slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this match once before, he thought, but where? 
Ezra's mood darkened as he drugged through the forest. Hours later, when the beauty of the place was still a new thing, he'd been conf confident they could get in, find the exit, and be home in time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed in around them. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in direction, and moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once, he'd been forced to steadily and stuff on the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left small trays of blood on everything he touched. Additionally, Wes was proving to be a particularly poor traveling companion, underwinded by uh, either terrain or physical effort. He spent most of his time ar ar arguing as he had to pick up the pace and grumbling about their slow progress. Finally, after Wes muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating the environment, Azrael snapped. Okay, Wes, cram it for a second, would you? We don't have to walk. Azrael leaned against, a leaned against a tree, trying to stretch out the nostril from his back. How can this stupid forest be so big? He muttered to himself. The moment the words trembled from his mouth, a cartography of insects sprang to life. Every imagined form of buzz, click, and hiss roared out of the volume that rattled his teeth. Azrael slapped his hands over his ears and screamed to be heard, Weiss, what's going on? Azrael could see the Weiss mouth moving, but he could as well be shouting in a tornado. The insect screamed, the forest howled. And then just as Azrael's ears seemed ready to tear from his head and running for cover, the sound diminished. Hastily, he re removed the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the woods. Z z z z, sha 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 sha, she 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 she, woo 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 woo. Oh come on, I'm not saying all that. As the insect simply jumped over the uh, Ezra began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. This is just white noise. It's something else. The insects were calling out. They were just asking a question. One with its lacking, two with its ideal, three with its danger. What is it? But my pages, is this original? I guess so. I mean, it feels sort of forced, but maybe it's the key of getting out of this place. Then I leave it to you to answer. One with the lacking, what one is lacking, two is with the ideal, three is with the danger. What is it? Oh my god, what the hell? The answer is a secret? Awfully forced that really left the task to him. As your sign, I gave the only answer that made sense. It's a secret. Er, right? The sound of the insect stopped and suddenly it began. The forest underground parted before Azrael like roping wave, opening a new path. These forest anthropods are making a road for us, said Weiss with glee. Pleased at passing the test, Azrael moved on with new intensity. The path offered his own body relief from the underground. Undergrowth but gave even greater cheer to his mind, as as long as they were on the path, their journey had purpose. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? said Azrael for a bit. Boy spun around and his face companion. Do not mistake the will of the forest for some people pet you can suddenly pretend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Weiss finished his pet speaking, the pair turned to a corner and found themselves uh, facing a clear forest spring. Smiling, Azrael picked up a small rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Weiss. His surprise was understandable. Each time the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rock finally stopped moving, sank to the bottom of the spring, the ripples it left behind came together to form awards. Even though the window broke up no glass, when night falls, I vanish, what am I? Absurdly easy, Bark Wings. Now answer it. Azrael grinned his teeth and tried to reach out the string his companion. He's right. After all, this one's a pretty easy. I enter through the window, break but no break, break no glass. When night falls I vanish, what am I? Oh my god. I enter through the window. Break no glass when night falls. Oh my god, that's easy sunlight. Duh. I plumb of water suddenly, a burst of spring. Sunlight flooded through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating a shimmer rainbow that spanned the horizon. In all my years, said Wes softly, I've never seen such a sight. Perhaps I have misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look, Adam cried as we're awakening from his days. There's a house or something over there. Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Weiss saw a small wrestling cottage among the trees. That is weird, isn't it, Weiss? I mean, who could have built a house all the way out here? 
As we walked over, it pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, the door cracked open and a small man appeared out. His body was clothed from neck to toe in a large black cape, while his face was obscured by mist. Um, began Azrael. But before he could get any further, the cloaked man held up a hand and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon. By end of the night with three, what am I? I have four legs. In the morning I have two. But at the end of the night I have three. Azrael tried to ask the cloak man what he was, and there were simply repeated questions. If we wish to engage this man's in conversation, said Weiss, it seems we must answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose that would be good. Well, at least it's an easy one. I have four legs in the morning, two at noon, but at night I have three. What am I? What the fuck? I have four legs in the morning and two at noon. But end, but end of the night. I'm gonna have to guess a man. The mist is all for the cloak figure as he spoke a single word. Correct. With that, the man flung his garment aside, revealing his true identity. You're the mayor, cried Azrael. The small man slowly shook his head. I am not the mayor, you know. Now listen to my words. Long ago, I saw a version of you that was not yourself. Uh, sorry, what does that mean? It will, it will make sense in time at present. I will simply congratulate on you cloaking on the dr death dream. Now you must go in person in the forest entrance. With that, the man turned on his heels and slammed the door behind him. And as Azra watched, Miss seat from the from the grounds engulfed the cottage and erasing it from existence. When Azra and West returned from the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against the tree. As soon as they caught the sight of the duo, he sprung into his feet and crumbled over to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it. You actually made it back. His left hand grasped Ezra and pumped in as fiercely and threatened to dislodge from the socket, while his right seized right wise by the cover and swung him through the air. God, by the heavens, stop shaking me, fool. We're not even told you if we're successful or not. The man saw it broadly and shook his head. I'm just so happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Azure would do himself for the mayor's equal handshake with a slight smile. We broke the death dream, death dream seal, he said. At least I think we did. The mayor's face beamed as Ezra filled him with the light in the details. When the tale was done, the three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Ezra cocked his head. Okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why would we lay down and go to sleep? Tease your endless rattle. Go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is futile itself. As you know, the mayor obsessively reclined atop the grassy earth. Have you forgotten? Continue, wise. It is the words that control the death direct dream. Words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how harm unnatural they seem, the words are <laughs> the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. What? With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breath slowing. This is the first time, began the mayor. The first time I felt tired since I was imprisoned here. His words were cut off by a loud, long, ya a long yawn, and he remembered nothing more. They might have slept for an hour or a year. Then they awoke. Things of slightly more real quality to them. They must the mist felt thicker, the leaves greener, and it must have cleared. They woke up from their dream. Azra shook the mayor's shoulder grandly. Good news, he said. I think we made it. Oh, well, the mayor said. Uh, we did it. I'm back. He blinked once. Then again, as is not quite believed in the sleeper forum. You do have no idea how this means. The death dream was spreading through our village and wanted to. Well, I thought I could figure out how to stop it, but I guess I was the case. Uh, I must have caught the disease and become trapped in my own dream. The mayor started to stand, then collapsed back to the earth. He started his legs and was trying to remember how they worked. Then glanced at Ezra and shrugged. Without a word, the young man reached out and pulled the mayor to his feet. Real life may take some time getting used to, said the mayor as he wears a smile across his lips. You shall relearn in order, in short order, I'm sure, said Weiss. For now, you should return to your home and rest. No, said the mayor, swaying on in steady feet. No, I can't. Some of the villagers are still trapped in dream, uh, death dream. I have to save them. The mayor slowly made them, made his way to the divine tree in the center of the village, then bowed his head and prayed silently. 
This is a holy tree, he explained. When the prayers were finished, it is the guardian of our village history and memories. Superstition only make our mission harder, muttered Weiss. We should not put our faith in the gods. Uh, the mayor shook his head. Not the gods, the wards. The legend said that our tree is home to a powerful magic known as the sealed vice. Azrael and, we and Weiss could not contain their surprise. It seemed a goal had been found in the most expected places. I say, muttered Weiss, this is certainly a stroke of luck. As the, tr as the three of them said their goodbyes, Azrael mentioned the man who had given them the third riddle and the mystery words he said to act to them. <coughs> oh my god, this is a lot of fucking reading. I once saw a version of you that was not yourself, muttered the mayor. What is the words does that mean? Lawson thought he stared into space for a long time. You know, he said softly, this is what's going to sound odd, but I had a feeling I'd seen you before, too. Azro tried to keep a straight face and failed, but the mayor didn't seem to notice. Deja vu, right? Any anyway, I figured it was some kind of illusion created by the Death Tree. It probably doesn't mean anything. Azro gave the mayor a nod and a smile, and Emily and Stott were racing. Nothing wrong with the mayor and his words. And what exactly is going on here? That riddle would prove to be the most difficult one of all. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. You and me both. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. Oh my god, bro, that was a For a sealed weird. verse, that didn't take much effort. Yes, all a touch too easy, if you ask me. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. 